hello friends so welcome to this new video i have taken uh, i have taken only one problem here because it is quite big and uh, it is a very beautiful problem actually uh, i will rate it around uh, level 4 or level 5 it is quite tough also and uh, such kind of questions can be seen in actually j advanced uh, but rarely in j mains so i am about to solve this problem and uh, you can have a look at it once and give a try i don't mind but uh, do watch the full video for the solution so let's get started. Uh, let's read the question first. It's given consider all pairs of non-zero integers. First of all, that's one hint for us. Non-zero integers and that is going to help us in many places for the solution. So non-zero integers a comma b such that ax minus b whole square plus bx minus a whole square equal to x. This equation they are telling that has at least one integer solution at least one integer solution this point is also required for us further so that is why i'm underlining them has at least one uh, integer solution so this is the condition we are being given and they're asking us find the sum of all distinct values of x uh, which satisfy the above condition they're asking the sum of all the values of x if i say uh, in simple words they're asking the sum of roots of this equation so let's see how to do this uh, if i expand this i'll be getting a square x square plus b square minus 2abx, right? Uh, plus b square x square plus a square minus 2abx equal to x, right? So if I take x square common, I will be getting a square plus b square, right? Times x square. And uh, uh, what about x? So I will take x now. Here, there is a term here, there is a term here and this. So minus 4ab x minus x. So if I take minus x common, I will be getting 4ab plus 1, right? And plus I will be getting uh, a square plus b square, this and this. So a square plus b square equal to 0. So don't you see that this is a quadratic equation in x? x square, ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. It is of that form. So now uh, let's see what they have given next. They're, they're telling that uh, it has at least one integer solution. Means this equation has an integer solution. If it is an integer, it must be a real number also, right? So if it is real, they're telling that uh, its discriminant must be greater than or equal to zero. We don't know about the equality, but it has to be uh, greater than zero. That is for sure. So since they have given it is integer, it must be real. So I'm taking it uh, that way. So let's find the discriminant first. D. So the condition is d is greater than or equal to 0. This is what we have got till now. So let's find d. d is b square. And that is b square minus 4ac. So 4ab plus 1 whole square. b square minus uh, 4ac. 4 times uh, a square plus b square. a square plus b square. Uh, into a square plus b square. That is whole square. Right? So this has to be greater than or equal to 0. I am sure you don't have any objection if I write it this way also. Minus 2 times a square plus b square whole square which is one and the same thing. So clearly we can see this uh, expression is of the form a square minus b square. So it can be written as a plus b into a minus b. right? So if I write it in that way 1 plus 4ab plus 2 times a square plus b square times 1 plus 4ab minus 2 times a square plus b square which has to be greater than or equal to 0. So if you simplify this further, uh, we'll be getting uh, actually uh, there are 2-3 more steps uh, that I'm sure you can do. So finally I have the answer as 1 minus 2 times a minus b whole square which is greater than or equal to 0. This will be simplified to this. I have already done this so you can uh, check it out later. So uh, if I simplify, if I send this uh, one that side and change the inequality by multiplying a minus sign, I will be getting a minus b whole square less than or equal to 1 by 2. Now this part comes into picture. They are telling non-zero integers. So a and b are non-zero integers. So if I subtract them, I will be obviously getting an integer and that integer square will be again an integer only, again a positive integer that too. So a positive integer is never greater than is never less than or equal to 1 by 2. 
so if there is any integer left uh, which is less than 1 by 2 that is uh, that is nothing but 0 so a minus b is equal to 0 which implies a is equal to b i hope you get this point so we reduce that a is equal to b now let's put it back over here again so if i substitute uh, b as a again i'll be getting 2a square x square minus 4 times uh, i'm sorry 4a square plus 1 times x plus 2a square equal to 0 so this is again a quadratic equation is the same thing when i substitute b as a uh, let's call the uh, the roots of this equation as alpha and beta right so uh, from this alpha plus beta is uh, we know it for a general quadratic equation it is minus b by a so minus b by a so this uh, minus of this uh, coefficient divided by this so minus into minus that will become plus so 4a square plus 1 by 2a square right so let me split it so if i split it like this i'll be getting 2 plus 1 by 2a square and what is the product of roots alpha beta is 2a square by 2a square so that is 1 right so you see that uh, uh, the roots are uh, reciprocal of each other so i'll uh, replace beta as 1 by alpha so i can write it as alpha plus 1 by alpha is equal to 2 plus 1 by 2a square so we got this much and uh, luckily we also know that since a is a non-zero integer it is never zero and uh, and it is an integer so a is an integer and if i square a i'll be getting uh, something greater than or equal to 1 right because it has to be positive and it is non-zero so a square is always greater than or equal to 1 so uh, let's see uh, what will happen if i substitute it as 1 so if i put it as 1 i'll be getting it is i mean this expression is always less than or equal to 2 plus 1 by 2 because if i substitute a square as 1 i'll be getting this as this if you substitute anything that is greater than so 2 plus if i substitute uh, uh, a as 2 then i'll be getting uh, a square as 4 so 1 by a, 2 plus 1 by 8 is uh, less than this only so its maximum value is 2 plus 1 by 2 since i substituted a square is equal to 1 so what did we get uh, i'll just write it down uh, this side that what we got alpha plus 1 by alpha is less than or equal to uh, 2 plus 1 by 2 right so and from amgm inequality we also know that any number plus its reciprocal is always greater than or equal to 2 right so alpha plus 1 by alpha is also greater than or equal to 2 so what did we get so we got uh, its uh, interval where alpha plus 1 by alpha lies so we deduce that alpha plus 1 by alpha lies between 2 and 5 by 2 that is 2.5 so i'm sure uh, you're okay till now and uh, we know that we substituted a square is equal to 1 if we substitute a square is equal to 1 I mean this term will go I mean a square part will go so alpha plus 1 by alpha will be equal to 2 plus 1 by 2 so what did we get alpha as alpha is equal to 2 right and its sum is alpha plus 1 by alpha is equal to 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 5 by 2 hence the answer it could have been 2 also but since uh, options were not given to uh, they will give only one option so 5 by 2 is given so hence our answer is 5 by 2 you see how uh, beautiful this is there are no numbers given in the whole question but still we deduce a number right so in this way we have to tackle the problem i'm sure you learnt a new approach and uh, if you see any more questions in this way uh, do comment it below and uh, you can uh, share with me uh, whatever good questions you found out and uh, i hope these uh, videos will help you so uh, watch more uh, when i uh, put more videos and uh, like and uh, share the video also if you liked it and uh, if you're new to this video then do subscribe so thanks a lot for watching this video bye guys